Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a new inventory unit. This trailer actually just showed up yesterday, so it's fresh on our lot. This is a 2024 Cimarron Northstar 2 Plus 1. It's kind of our base model 2 Plus 1 setup, so not a whole lot of options. If you're looking at more of a base model 2 Plus 1, this is going to be the trailer for you guys. We're 7'7 seven, seven tall, 6'10 wide. It's kind of our typical 2 Plus 1 layout. Four foot short wall front tack up here, which we'll go over first. We have a 32 inch wide door on this front tack. Doing the 32 inch wide door, we have to move some stuff around. You're probably accustomed to seeing when we do those 42 inch wide doors, we'll throw saddle uh, blanket bars on the door. When we do this 32 inch door for that smaller setup to keep our trailer size down, we'll do everything recessed, which I'll show you guys here in a second. On that door, we do have our three compartment drainable brush tray. Super simple brush tray. I like it because they compartmentalize it into three different compartments with drains in the bottom of each. So if you have something sitting in one compartment that starts to leak, freezes, breaks, anything like that, it's gonna contain it and not you know, muddy up the rest of your stuff in that brush tray. Standard on pretty much every trailer we're ordering for inventory, access into your tack rooms is gonna have a fold down, a fold down step that just operates really simply off a gas shock. It's gonna hold it up when you're traveling and keep it down and stable when it's down. In our tack room of our two plus ones, this one has a rubber mat floor. We are a four foot short wall. With that rubber mat floor, we do have our split boot box here. It's about a 75% boot box, fully carpeted, great for storage, keeping stuff out of the way, and also serves as a nice step up into your gooseneck area. We are fully carpeted in our deck and drop wall. So again, you can easily weekend out of this thing if you guys need to. We'll wrap around and look at our short wall side of this. So again, four foot short wall talked about how we couldn't put blanket bars on the door because of that door size so we go ahead and we mount them in this recessed track along with our saddle pads the cool thing about this recessed track is if you don't want to take saddles with you you're only taking one or two you can easily remove these bars remove your saddle pads add more run none at all if you want it's very versatile as far as how many you want to take do you want to take any at all and how do you want them to lay out so that's a really cool option we can do on these recessed behind that we have our carpeted partition wall it's not a fully carpeted partition wall we just pretty much took where our high and low bridle hooks are and we carpeted all the way behind there. Again, it's going to really help deaden that noise from your bridles bouncing on the front of this trailer. And, you know, horses are going to haul better the quieter it is. It's going to keep your trailer from getting scratched up and keep your bridles from getting scratched up as well. We do have a pass-through door centered on this passenger side of this trailer. So, again, if you're hauling two horses, you need to come through here and don't want to drop your ramp to get back into your box stall in the front. You can easily come through your tack room and through your pass-through door there. LED lighting throughout, so we have LED lighting in our tack room and then as well on the outside and inside of our stall area. Two plus one, so we do have this side ramp on the passenger side. This is probably the main benefit of running a two plus one. Yes, your horses are hauling straight, so they're gonna be able to brace themselves a little bit better than hauling in a slant. The best thing about this is you can walk your horses on from the rear, tie them off. You yourself can walk out the ramp. You're not having to squeeze by a horse to get out the back of the trailer. And then when you go to offload, if you have a horse that doesn't like to back out or you want to be a little safer, you can easily just move the door out of the way and walk your horses off. So it's a great walk-on, walk-off setup for you and your horses. It helps keep you a little safer. Load your horse, you can walk off of the front versus trying to squeeze by them. 16-inch LED light above this side ramp. Again, giving you guys enough light to see what you're doing when you're offloading, when you're walking horses off this trailer, the more light, the better. We have a wraparound Dutch door above that ramp. So the cool thing about this is is you can fold that ramp up and you can drive with these Dutch doors open. So you can really get some airflow moving through these trailers. Same thing with your rear double Dutch doors. You can drive with those open as well. Really maximize that airflow. We do have a drop window behind that Dutch door. So if you are running that Dutch door closed, you can drop that drop window at those horses' heads and get some airflow right where those horses are standing. Big sliding type bus window over the body part of your horse. Again, a two plus one has so many windows and so many options. You can really maximize airflow or manipulate that airflow however you want to see fit. If you want a little bit of air moving, if you want no air, or if you want to just open this thing completely up and have a bunch of air, you can do that as well. Back wraparound Dutch window, again, it is a latched in place. You can 100% travel with these open. And it's a really cool concept. Once you close your ramps up, you have your Dutch doors open, this trailer is going to look wide open. You can really see how much airflow, especially if you're caught in traffic, something like that. It's really going to help maximize the cooling effect of this trailer on your horses on a hot day. On our back, we have our ramp, our Dutch door, so it's not a ramp over. The ramp is integral to the part of the door of the trailer, so you're not having that ramp hang off the back. It's actually a part of the door. Eight inch awning light up high, again, giving you guys light while you're loading and offloading. 
This being a more base model 2 plus 1, we don't have our traveling divider track. In place of that, what we have is we still have our positioning to move this divider over the wall. So if you wanted more of an open trailer, um, you can do that. You just don't have that track where you can push it over. So you, if you're a bigger guy, can do it by yourself. But usually two people can unhinge this divider, pick it up, set it over against the wall, match it into place. So it's not as user friendly as just pulling a couple pins and sliding it. You can still pull those pins and move it over if you guys need a more open concept trailer. We have our butt bars on the back, chest bars up front. And again, a lot of this is gonna look really similar to our traveling type divider. It's gonna operate the same. You're gonna have a pin high, pin low, pin low in the back, and you'll just lift this up, set it on that wall, and then pin it in place. We do have our movable head grill. The reason I like this head grill is if you're only hauling one horse and you want them to have a little more room, you can pivot that head grill out of the way latch it in place, and then your horse has quite a bit more headroom in here. If you have a bigger horse, you're trying to make this angle and walk out, you can do that pretty easily as well. We have twin doors on the front. Again, they can latch over here. I talk about that walk on, walk off. You can see how just easy it is. You can walk your horse on, and put that chest bar up, tie them off, and then you yourself can walk right out this trailer and not have to worry about trying to sneak by your horses. Same thing when you go to offload, you can come in that side ramp untie them, drop that chest bar, and just walk them right out. It makes it super easy with these doors and that movable head grill. We do have two two-way roof vents in the front for your box stall, and then one over each of your stalls in the back. The cool thing about this box stall is you can use it as a mare full stall. We have a lot of people that will take like cricket carts or golf carts and load them up that side ramp while they're traveling. It just makes this area super usable. If you want to stack hay in here, you can. That hay's not going to get into your horses where they can eat them or you know have a bale roll under them because of these doors. It's a really versatile setup. It's probably one of the most versatile horse trailer setups you can get. If you're only hauling a couple horses, two to four horses, you can fit two up here, two in your stalls. Or if you want to haul two horses in a golf cart, two horses in a ranger, two horses in some hay. It's a really great usable trailer, especially if you're more of a transporter where people are going to have those special requests as far as they want their horses tied in an open box. They want their horses tied you know, straight load. You want to move your dividers open and have two boxes. You can do a lot of stuff with these trailers, which make them very usable. We have LED lighting in this trailer, OptiBrights in our front stall. And as we work our way back, you're going to have an OptiBright on each side, right and left hand, for each one of these box stalls in the back. So again, super cool trailer, a little more base concept than you guys are used to seeing on our two plus ones. We are just rubber matted in this trailer, but we can easily change that to worm flooring for you guys. So we work our way around to the head side, it's going to look real similar to our hip side. Big drop window where your horse's head's going to be on this driver's side. Again, that big sliding type over body. 16 inch LED light here on our driver's side for some light on this escape door. Also some tie out light here if you're tying on this side of the trailer. Another big bus window for this side of the trailer for that front box stall. Then again, your escape door. So what you lack in that Dutch door on the other side on this side, we're making up for that airflow on this side with that big bus window. And you also have a drop down window in your escape door as well. So again, if you're using this as more of a storage space, super easy. You can access this through your tack room. You can access it through that side ramp. You can access it through this escape door. So there's a bunch of different access points on this trailer to be able to use it however you guys want. We are on just 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsions axle. This is not an air ride trailer. So again, we kind of toned down this model to hit a certain price point for you guys. It's a great trailer. We can't tell you how many times we have people that have never seen a two plus one come and buy one have a trainer tell them about it and then buy one and they pull it for a little bit and they just absolutely love them it's a great trailer underneath we do have a hydraulic jack it is a manual override haul draw hydraulic jack so again if your batteries die anything like that you can always hand crank this jack up so you guys aren't stranded we have our aluminum battery box up here in our right hand corner it is wired to a battery cutoff switch so you guys can kill power to this trailer if you're not using it Again, if you left a stall light on, something like that, it's really easy when you park it at your house. Once you unhook it with that hydraulic jack, you can turn that to off and never have to worry about your batteries dying, anything like that. All of our trailers will come standard. If it has a battery package, it is going to come with that battery disconnect. Up here in our right-hand corner, we do have our switch for your equalizer jack. Again, it's super easy, one button up, one button down, and it's really quick to hook up your trailer. You no longer have to hand crank them. Spare tire over here, it's a matching wheel and tire to the rest of the wheels and tires. So that way if you have a blowout, flat, you're not putting a steel wheel on this trailer, you will have matching rubber and wheel to the rest of the tires and wheels on this trailer. Up front, 
We do have our 2 and 5 16 coupler. This is the new coupler, so we can have more adjustment for our higher bed heights. We have our breakaway cable, our safety chains, and then again, our seven pan is strung back to its holder there by that battery box. So again, a really base model two plus one. We do have some cool options on it. For example, like that hydraulic jack. We like to make things user friendly for you. Um, but again, not as optioned up two plus one. We do have some two plus ones that are optioned up. We actually just had another two plus one show up this morning. So it is that season. We are getting some inventory in. Shows are starting up. If you're interested in this unit, the stock number is five in two four zero. 344 again it's a 2024 Cimarron North Star 2 plus 1 it's got that warm blood height box stall your two horse straight load in the back it's a great setup that you can do a lot of things with so if you're considering looking at this trailer maybe some other 2 plus 1 concepts we have or if you want to look at some slants we have a bunch of inventory right now feel free to give me a call again my name is Tanner here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV and Frederick phone number is 303-684-3409 thanks for tuning in